Macy Tenorio with the Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence pleading to the legislature. Survivors across the scene of mine found themselves reliving traumas of past assaults. My colleagues and I desperately tried to pull as many as we could to safety. That testimony last month as the Ethics Committee convened for the first time it's the ongoing aftermath of a complaint alleging sexual assault and abuse by Representative Ed Probst dating back to 20 years ago while he was working at Marianas High School and Northern Marianas College. Tenorio recently conducted a training with members of the committee. Our goal is to try and share information from a victim and survivor's perspective, you know, to speak as advocates about the issue and to share the information that we've learned from survivors over the years. The complaint against probes was tabled to allow for the training to happen first. We talked at great length about delayed reporting um, because I think that is an issue that has been present a lot in the community lately and a lot of community members, not only lawmakers, but people in general, I think struggle with understanding why delayed reporting or non-reporting is so common when we're talking about cases of sexual assault or sexual abuse of minors. They're training lawmakers on how to follow the law. Previously, Probst said there were no complaints filed at the public school system while he was working there. He has not addressed the allegations directly, but has apologized for things he's done in the past. Well, Representative Ed Probst is a problem. He is not the only one. 